Hello everyone and welcome back to the Golden Legacy. We are carrying on with the Hive campaign and we have just recently recaptured Kazadum West. As you can see, it is now back in the hands of the Dwarves. We sold it to them for a very reasonable price of 10,000 gold coins, which was immediately spent and distributed amongst our settlements. So we've now teamed up Avalyn with Glorandia once again and we are marching down to finish off the pesky goblins once and for all well ignoring goblin town and uh, mythelberg but we're not really bothered about that i think once we've done this dunland is looking like the next threat and potentially angmar now that we border them at kamathbrin so they'll probably be our next enemies i would have thought but i've done my famous trick again of starting an episode on an end turn Master Frecker's just casually roaming around as well. Not quite sure why he's doing that. I don't usually see him this far north. Ooh. Oh, I thought we were going to get a crash there. It lingered on Dolamath for a while and stopped the music. But I think we're okay. Okay, Gap Captain Zolgdush. Looks like he's making a move for Kazadum. But we will intercept. And oh, we've got a thousand from the council as well. How generous. The one ring has been located. So Khan is now at war with Dolamroth. Gundabad now at war with the Woodland Realm. And Dolwinian are at war with Dolgadur. For the light! Cavalry, you are moving back to Amladris. We've got quite a lot of units in Amladris as well. Um, most of them are being retrained, which is good. And then we've got a little force just outside in the fort, led by the twins. So if Angmar does come, I think we've got enough units up there to, to fend them off, as it were. Follow me. Now, Avalyn. My lord, approaching... I think you should probably move to intercept Zoldush. Purely because I think the Dwarves will be able to handle that army now. Even with just the garrison force, probably. But there is a chance that they could just swing north and attack Anon Enerod instead. instead. So I think if you guys come... There, we can pop a tower down as well. Follow me. I'm gonna stick you. I'm yeah, and they shouldn't be able to move too further forward. So we'll should be able to attack them next turn. And then we can move on. Austin Ethel, finally. Zagkala. What were you building? Uh the builders hall. Thirty four percent, that's more than enough. So I'll get the barracks for me. I think you guys are doing the same. I under towers are getting the barracks, which is good. Mythlond and Forlond are getting the guild house, and then we've queued that up for Harland as well. Might as well get them now. The earlier, the better. And we're making about four hundred gold a turn. Hootsman, bonny day is it no? And bonny day is it no? Right, let's just whiz through these next few turns. We want to destroy Captain Zolgdush. And recapture Austin Ethel. We are allied to the dwarves as well, so I think we should be okay on that front. We shouldn't have to worry too much. Angmar, you won't trade right. I'm going to decline because I think oh well. that they're just going to declare war. Sooner rather than later, so. The Wrath of Khand. Yes, my lord. Right, let's get you back in there. Retrain what we can. Are they all getting free upkeep? Oh well, all but one. So we get six, six units of free upkeep there, which is pretty good. 
come, my brothers. Right, where's the army gone? It's pulled back. <laughs> I thought they would. That's fine. Then. We can just move forward. This is it. The final battle. Sort of. We've got no money left because we've retrained the units at Imladris. Yes, my lord. But that's okay. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow. Goblin Town here it is. Tomorrow's we may even regicide the family tree, to be honest, or the family. Um, because this is the faction leader. I imagine not, probably. I, I expect there would be a general within Goblin Town or Meifelberg. Um, but it is a possibility. So once we've taken Austin Ethel, that could actually be the end of the, the goblins, and these two would just turn rebel. But again, there, there really isn't much for us to do right now. The only army we've got in the field is Avalins, so we're just sort of waiting to crush these goblins and see what Angmar do. I think now that the... Stay in the trees. Watch Ooh. the flank! Oh, they've got no time to prepare either. Perfect. A little ambush. They've got the trolls still, obviously, which is a concern. Wipe the blight from this land! But I think we should be okay. It's not often I, I get many ambushes. In Medieval 2. I'm usually the ambusher. No, the ambushee. Usually the person getting ambushed. Right, I just want everyone to focus fire on the the trolls and the wags, really. Everything else, I'm not too concerned with. So if we just focus this end, and then it's going to take a long time for these to kill, to come in to play anywhere. And obviously, they're probably going to charge us, as we'll be doing a lot of shooting at them. So we'll try and form up in a way that protects us. I've just stole them, I didn't mean to do that. I want you guys over here, and then you guys over here. Yes, yeah, so I think that'll be okay. So we'll group you up, we'll group you up, and then we'll group... The range cav up as well. So literally everything just firing at the trolls first. Kill those trolls. I oh, see now they're coming for us. This is not what I wanted. And man, your sword masters, you're gonna have to sacrifice yourselves. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. God damn. Oh, I just pull back. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. No trolls have died yet. Um, that really didn't go to plan. A snag of skirmishers, get out of here. Charge them, Mavelin, kill them. Wow, my sword masters have been destroyed. Kill the trolls. What are you guys doing? These guys aren't doing much, to be honest. I think you guys need to get over there. Alright, starting to kill a few trolls now. What's going on here? Come over here. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, that was bad. I did not like that. And the trolls have just ran through them as well. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Right, I think we're pretty much done here. Obviously taking more casualties than I would have liked because of the trolls, but it's to be expected, really. Tell you what, don't bother even shooting at them. I'll run the risk of Avalyn getting killed. 
The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All right, is that everyone? I think so. This is a clear So we lost 162, which is quite high to be honest. Uh, but we killed over 1100. And Swordmasters taking 87 of those losses. So not too bad I suppose, it was it was mainly the Swordmasters that took most of the damage. And we had to sacrifice them for the, the, the oncoming trolls. They literally just smash in and crush everything. They're one of our best units as well. But they just made mincemeat of them. As they are trolls, so it is to be expected, I suppose. We shall kill them all. We've defeated their wretched armies. But at least that army's been dealt with. So now we just have Austin Ethel to worry about. Which we are now free to attack. Kingdom of Dale. Yes, my lord. What is it you wish to discuss? Trade rights. You hold us until Perfect. we meet again. As you wish. Enid Wythe and Dunlendings are at war. So again, that's a benefit for us. That'll keep the Enid Wythe... Enid Wythians distracted. Here comes Angmar. I didn't think it would be too long before they came knocking on my door. Uh, chuck out some Swiftly. sentinels, why not, in that fort. Right, the barracks is being built at Zagkala now, which is good. Let's queue up the Master Builders Hall at Imladris. Elves. They can hold out for 11 turns, really? That's ridiculous. But again, the, the trouble is I don't want to attack it directly because they'll get um, a bunch of defenders, I think. But we'll see. I'll I'll build some siege equipment. But I would imagine that they're going to spawn five or six ridiculous <laughs> um, orc defender units, which will just make it rather difficult for us to capture. Right, nothing else is happening. Yeah, it is it really is just all around Austinithil. That's all the action. Is anyone excited for the new Lord of the Rings film as well, The War of the Rohirrim. It's um, I'm not really sure how to take it yet. I'll definitely watch it. It's certainly a a different take. Obviously, with it being um, like an anime style, we don't need another general right now. Dunlendings and Khazad Doom are at war. Oh, that's good for us. A bunch of stuff is finished building. Q stalled. Now we do want that guild. And on inner rod, what's that? The bladesmith guild, which gives us is that the combat bonus. However, I've got better things to spend my money on right now, like a builder's hall. <laughs> um, let's grab that. Bruin asked, "You can't get anything." Fair enough. Tell you what would be helpful though here is a militia garrison, so I'll grab that. And then I will accept the guild though. Because obviously we, we want to accept it. So if you decline it, I think you just stop getting them for so long. Um, but obviously if you spend the money first and then accept it, the game can't give you the guild yet, but it still thinks you're interested, as it were. Strength so we should honor. still be offered guild buildings in the future. Right, Under Towers is now finished building the barracks. Perfect. So we can now grab a couple of units should we need them. You get the Tanner and the Militia Garrison. 
these two have now finished the what's it called the guild house so everything should be much cheaper and much quicker to build and it is looking that way i mean even roads now take five turns and are only three and a nearly three and a half thousand gold so if we were to get them that oh my god look at that corruption what the hell's going on there so the trade obviously doubles pretty much when we get the roads. Um, but corruption goes up by a similar amount. Why is corruption that high? Is it because our capital is halfway across the world? God, that's ridiculous. What is there anything that we can do to bring corruption down? Because that's insane amount of corruption. Do we need to garrison more troops there? Is that part of corruption? It's been so long since I've actually taken an interest in things like this. Oh my god. 1100. But again, if we've got roads, that would add an extra 600. But we'd pretty much lose it in corruption, so it's... A bit pointless, really. Yeah, I mean, if you guys could let me know, because that is actually baffling, to be honest. That we're losing that much money to corruption. Is it just purely on the, the distance from your capital? And what can we do to reduce that corruption? Because that is insane. That's, that's over 2,000 gold we're losing from corruption just from these three settlements. Uh, but anyway, back to building. I think roads probably is good long term. If we get them now, obviously it gives us much more income. So the sooner we get them, the better. And we're now on turn 31, so we are 10 turns closer to the, the Ardenheim invasions. Which have gone pretty quick. Right, we're besieging Austin Hill. So if we assault it, do they get a bunch of defenders? Yes, they get three. However, I just don't think we've got the troops. So let's withdraw. Come, my brothers. And obviously we can't do anything else this turn, which is really annoying. But next turn, what we'll do is I'll just pull away some troops. So it makes us a bit weaker. And then this should sally forth. I don't want to stand here for 10 turns. Just besieging it. There's Lord Thru. Oh, that's great that they've gone to war with Dunlendings as well. Because they should absolutely wipe the floor with them. Got Master Frecker here. Oh. Captain Authen, Auhagen, I'm not sure how you say that one. He's standing guard on the bridge. Glory to both our people. I would um, recommend you move, friend, <laughs> before you get crushed by the dwarves. My lord, approaching quietly. Oh, Dunland are pressing My lord, further north. It's surprising as well quietly. that the Dunedain haven't even taken Koloniak yet. 32 turns in. Come, my brothers. Right, what's it look like if we pull Elves, all of these out? The the I think we might even have enough to do elves. it without Glorandia. Over here, elves. We join in arms. So yeah, you guys just hide, and then we'll just leave it to the ranged the cavalry Elvereth. again. I think that should be enough. Avelyn is a absolute monster anyway. He could probably do it single-handed. Tell you what, let's get a spy. Could definitely do with another spy. Yeah, those dwarves have just moved onto the bridge. 
and just thrown all of those dud lendings over it. And now they're selling forth. So 185 elves against 884 goblins. Evil must not be allowed to triumph this day. This would be pretty cool anyway because this furthers the battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Um this furthers the the quest or part of the the Golden Legacy script. Taking Austin Athil. Now is it worth us running up there? Probably not. Oh, but it does look like they've bugged out. I'm not really sure what they're doing there. But as always, we will certainly make the most of the AI's intelligence. <laughs> Let's send Avalyn in. And then he can just shoot into this massive clump yeah I'm not really sure what they're doing to be honest ok here they come here come the skirmishes anyway you guys might as well fire at will as well alright pull back uh, no are you guys not coming you're just going to stand in the square. It looks like. Which is fine with me. Oh, they're throwing a few javelins. Not many though. Not enough to kill us. Right, you guys shoot the plaque pit infantry. You guys can shoot them as well. Use the last of your ammunition. And then we'll charge Avalyn in. Right, you guys stop. Avalyn should be okay to kill them, I think, with what he's got. Oh, can you like come down the hill a bit? This is very awkward for me to kill you while you're standing on the hill. Where's the rest of them? Alright, I think Avalon's okay with those. So we're going to sneak in. Pop off a few shots. So what charge them skirmishes down for me. How's Avalon doing? He's slowly working his way through. Oh come on, you just died to a snag of skirmisher in combat. Right, they're dead. So now I want you to shoot at the goblin bodyguards, please. Avalyn, how are you doing? There's ten of them left. How have you not killed them yet? Only half the enemy force remains. Right, they're dead. And then what we'll do? Oh, we are drawing him out. Avalyn. Charge the bodyguard. The enemy general lies dead. <laughs> what let a charge. The have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. The only trouble here is obviously this is not it's not a great location for charging cavalry. You can't really get a good charge. That's the only problem. So 
So I'll let the scouts in. They can do a bit of combat. Keep them tied up. While we send Avelyn round. The Our men, men no longer command the city. And then charge the bodyguards in the rear. Well, sort of. The scouts just sort of surrounded them and stopped Avalon from charging them in the rear, but hey ho, we'll take it. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a slog. We're going to lose a few scouts. But... Our men no longer command the city. I think we should be okay. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Kill them all. Our foe is utterly vanquished. 59 we and lost, but we killed day, 884. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Avalyn getting 364 kills. But there we have it. Austin Ethel is rightfully back in elven hands. And because we took it in the end turn, um, that should trigger the next message as well. I think at the start of our turn. We protect the elven lands. Claim it for the free peoples. I think it's probably a lot of goblins that are still there, so we'll sack it. Get rid of their buildings. So Mori's lead is now dead. Is that the end of the faction? We do want a guild there. A new hope, here we go. So over a thousand years ago, Sauron's forces laid waste to Austin Ithil, the crown jewel of the lost elven realm of Eregion. The remnants of this once great city have stood as a somber testament to the Dark Lord's unrelenting wrath. Today, that changes. As we reclaim this hallowed ground, we transform into a beacon of hope and defiance. The time of the elves is not over yet. After many battles, Glorandi now turns his steps. Now turns his steps back to towards Mithlond, where his son Verian dwells. As he journeys through the lands of Eredor, he reflects upon his path, contemplating the future that lies ahead. Each step brings him closer to the Grey Heavens, to family, and to the quiet hope of new beginnings. So we need to make sure Glorandia ends this turn in a settlement or with another unit attached to him. Elven barracks can now be upgraded. Very nice. Yeah, and as we can see, Lord Thru demolished that Dunlending army there. Sire. Your will, my so we'll just get rid of them. Not bothered about a couple of Dunedain scouts. Right, let's sit Glorando in Austin Ethel for now. Sire. And then what we'll do is... Approaching quietly. Approaching. Please send an emissary to open the Elves. We'll send Avelyn out. And he can chuck one. some towers here, about elves. for us. We will need that one. Like the wind. So we can keep an eye on what's going on with Dunland. Elves. And we're making about 2,000 gold a turn now. Which is pretty nice. We'll get the builders all, I think. Get that straight away. And we've got the ruins of the Gwaithi Maedine as well. So that gives us a plus 2.5% population growth bonus. And a 20% reduction in building costs. And also an increase in tradable goods. Very nice. Alright, Huntmaster Frecker looks like he's going to go and besiege Khazad Doom on his own. I'm really not sure what he's doing around here. But you are screwed. They're building the guild. It's not the guild house, is it? It's the master build hall. That's fine. That's the second tier. Harland. You are still not building the guild house, however, Mithlond is building roads, which is good. And again, there isn't much for us to do. So let's end turn. Now this should trigger the next step in Glorandi's quest. I think Frecker's a bit lost. 
He doesn't know what to do with himself. Trade rights. No thanks. We understand your reservation. Farewell then. Farewell then. And on Enderod. Again, they're desperate for a guild, aren't they? We will take it. So here we are, the Golden Legacy. Arriving in Mithlond, Glorande was greeted by the salty tang of the sea air, a familiar embrace that whispered tales of ancient shores. Ciaran had just returned from his mission in Eridluin, and Glorande's heart swelled with joy at the sight of his old friend. Amidst the tranquil beauty, he also reunited with his son, relishing the company he had sorely missed. As he wandered halls one day, his thoughts drifted to the weight of his legacy. His gaze lingered on a painting of Gilgalad locked in fierce battle with Sauron a poignant reminder of the Valiant King's fall. As memories of that tragic day flooded his mind, Círdan approached with the silence of the tide. Glorinda turned to him, the words forming on his lips, poised to declare whether he would embrace or renounce his noble heritage. So we're pressed to accept Embrace the Golden Legacy, decline to forfeit it and leave for Aman. Obviously we are playing the Golden Legacy, so we are 100% going to leave for um, no mind you we're going to embrace the golden legacy obviously so we'll accept and as you can see Glorandi has disappeared where has he gone is it this turn or next turn it is next turn I just built that up expecting something to happen but it hasn't happened yet because it is going to happen next turn so you'll have to wait one more turn but Balin has now made his presence known he's moving south towards the Dunlands Dunlandings sorry come my brothers all right Avalon you keep shocking towers I like it's wind. nobody's business need that one. claim that fort as well my Lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching and yeah I think for the time being we're just keeping an, gonna keep an eye on these Dunlandings see what they're up to What else do we want? We can get mines in quite a lot of places down here now, which is nice to see. Let me go for the Builder's Hall again. So Kala, same thing, Builder's Hall. We're making a decent amount of money now, so we might as well just try and get that. The Builder's Halls everywhere. And I think I'm going to end this here. So as I say, the Golden Legacy... The next part of the script will kick off next turn, but we shall have to wait. And we'll start that in the next episode. So as always, hope you guys are enjoying. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one.